Hi, today I'll be discussing a new type of breast cancer therapy called oral selective estrogen receptor degraders or SIRTs. This is a new type of treatment that works in patients who have developed resistance to hormone therapy. Hormone positive breast cancer, that is estrogen receptor positive or progesterone receptor positive and HER2 negative, is the most common type of breast cancer, account, accounted for approximately 70% of all cases. When they have early stage breast cancer, meaning stage one, two or three, these patients are treated with surgery, radiation therapy sometimes, and then we place them on uh, endocrine therapy. Chemotherapy may be used in patients at high risk, but then hormone therapy is given for five, seven or 10 years, depending on the situation. Patients, most patients are cured and there is no need to do anything else. For patients who develop metastatic breast cancer, meaning the cancer has spread and shows up elsewhere, in the bones, liver, lungs, anywhere else, then we have to evaluate the situation again. Normally we would do a biopsy and see if the tumor is still estrogen receptor or progesterone receptor positive and HER2 negative, and then those patients would be treated with endocrine therapy again. Nowadays we use endocrine therapy in combination with CDK46 inhibitors such as palbocyclib, ribocyclib or abemacyclib. So for example a patient who's been on tamoxifen in the adjuvant setting after surgery and now develops metastatic breast cancer, we can treat with letrozole and ribocyclib. Now at some point, many patients develop resistance to this type of therapies and th their cancers uh, progress and we have to change treatments. And that's where the SIRTs come into play. Fulvestrant or Fastlodex was approved more than 20 years ago. It's a treatment that degrades the estrogen receptor but it has to be given intramuscularly with two injections bilaterally uh, every month, which is quite uncomfortable. In the last few years, there has been an effort to develop oral selective estrogen receptor degraders, which can be taken by mouth as a pill. The first one of these approved is elacestrant, which was shown to be superior to uh, conventional uh, therapy, particularly in patients with mutations in the estrogen receptor gene or ESR1 gene. So how do we find this? Patients who develop metastatic breast cancer with disease elsewhere, we can monitor them by doing scans like PET scans, bone scans, CAT scans, and also liquid biopsies. So we can take a blood sample, look for tiny uh, fragments of DNA and see if there is a mutation in that circulating tumor DNA. For patients with ESR1 mutations in the CT DNA in the blood, those patients are the ones who benefit the most from this type of treatments. Again, elacestrant is the one that is approved currently. There are other treatments in clinical trials that look quite promising. One of them is canisestrant, girocestrant and imlonisestrant are all others that are being tested in patients with metastatic breast cancer and they are showing efficacy and, and good uh, side effect profile in patients who have progressed after initial treatments. And now they're being tested even in the frontline therapy. So for patients with newly diagnosed metastases, there is a study called Serena 6 that preliminary report indicates that it met its primary endpoint in 2025. In that study, patients were randomized to receive camisestrant with palbocyclib or conventional endocrine therapy with palbocyclib or Ibrans, and the camisestrant group was superior than the conventional treatment. We haven't seen the final report. It will be presented at the um, annual meeting of ASCO in June 2025, but the preliminary results are encouraging. Other treatments in, in Nestrant and Garisestrant and others are showing also a very good efficacy in combination with other treatments like CDK46 inhibitors. And now there are clinical trials in the adjuvant setting after surgery where uh, all these treatments are being explored in large number of patients. So in a few years, we'll have more availability of this type of medications where it can be combined by the oral route by taking pills with uh, standard uh, endocrine therapies. The most important thing to remember is that cancer is not static, it keeps changing, so we need to adapt our treatments to how uh, the patients and the cancer uh, behaves 
to prolong survival and improve quality of life, particularly in this advanced metastatic setting. If you or a loved one has had experience with any of these treatments, please share with us in the comments section. And if you know someone who might be interested, just feel free to share this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.